Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and I want to animate this uh, vortex spiral kind of stuff. If you don't know how to create this vortex spiral, then click up on the right corner to see the full Illustrator tutorial. So I'm gonna show the animation process basically in Adobe After Effects. If you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with new updates, daily updates I upload every day. So let's see what we can do. First, we have this. We're gonna create a new. Uh, we're gonna copy paste this. Press Control C and Control Control C. Yeah. We're gonna create a new file. File new, and um, I'm gonna make it 300 per 300. I'm gonna create a name. I don't know, like VRTX, the shorter name of the vortex. As you can see, we have a square file here. A square artboard. Sorry. We're gonna press Control V. And we have the file right here, the vector file. From here, I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance, click on group, right click, and then click on group, sorry. So as you can see, we got all the layers. We got, so the thing is, we need to put all these layers, all these uh, vector forms in separate layers. Right now, everything is grouped. Everything is in the one layer. We got a ton of layers in here. Uh, so basically the first one is the first one, second one is second one, third one is third one, and so on and so forth. And now we're gonna create a lot of layers. Let me see how many are in here. Oh, oh my god, I don't even know. Anyways, there's a lot. But I'm thinking to not uh, use all of the vector layers, but delete some of them from here. Eventually I'm gonna de delete some of these. But still to look good aesthetically, uh, so far it looks still good aesthetically if you do it more then it starts you know it start it's gonna start to look a little bit more bad it won't look that good so this is the layers that we're gonna deal with we're gonna animate them separately uh, now we're gonna create a lot of layers you can see here this little thing create new layer and we're gonna create a ton of layers Let's say some around 35-ish, but we have enough layers. So um, you also uh, can somehow repaint this layer. Let me check it. If I double click on it, yeah, it's black. If you know, if you se select one of the vector layers here, which is in black, you won't uh, see what color is that. So I'm gonna, you know, add another color. As you can see, it just recolored it. We got another black one, which is not visible when you select. As you can see, um, okay, we don't have anything in, in the layer, so we won't show it. But uh, the main idea is you need to add some uh, new color. And, you know, fill all the layers in. So, uh, the the you know, the... What is that? The number of the layers and the arrangement of the layers need to be correct. That's also super important. So right now we got the first layer. This is the first, the biggest. We want to put it, for example, into the second one, in layer two. So as you can see, it's in the same, I mean the layer two. We're going to check this. This is the second one. We're going to put it in the third one. So this is a little bit more time consuming until you find the right, uh, I mean, until you make it. But uh, hey, this is what, uh, I mean, animation anyways takes a lot of time, so bear with me. We're going to speed up this process, arrange everything, make uh, sure everything looks good, and uh, we're going to export after that, so let's roll. So we did it. Uh, as you can see, I was like really cautious as I, as I was doing it because uh, before this I messed it up like with the layers and did it didn't came out how I wanted. So uh, eventually, when you, when I was like animating and 
you know everything was like animating separately and weird in a weird way so every every each of the line was moving in the wrong direction so uh as you can see we still got layers which which are like empty we're gonna delete those select and delete and the number starts from 2 ends at 33 so we got like 32 layers and these are empty i'm gonna delete these and these are the layers if i select them all you can see it's a, a rainbow color going on there's like a lot of colorful layers and now from here we can export it export somewhere you like i'm gonna go to file and go to save as basically desktop is good so export it in ai and then save click ok okay we're in adobe after effects and we're going to create a new composition here we're going to go to composition new composition or control plus n i'm going to do it uh, 1920 per 1920 width and height uh, the background going to be white i'm going to rename the composition as vrtx and click ok okay uh, we're gonna create the background. We're gonna create a solid right click here in this zone and click the new click to solid uh, I'm gonna rename it to background Make sure you always uh, Put names to your layers so you know exactly what is going on. Don't have a messy uh, You know Layers there and you don't know what is going on. So the color of the background is white it's 1920 per 1920 click OK we got the white uh, solid background uh, from here I'm gonna go and select uh, the AI file and just drag it right here in this space and wait uh, you know windows gonna pop up I just gonna click OK as you can see here here's a folder with the layers and uh, you know it exported separately i mean it imported separately you know uh the layers are, are not arranged uh they're arranged weirdly but we're gonna just drag drag it in here above uh the background of course and we have it from here you're gonna press and hold shift and uh, of course click on the image scale it up and let it go as you can see um, you know it's really pixelated it's a byte map so far and the quality is like super low so what we're gonna do is like select all uh, our layers AI layers especially these ones and uh, go here as you can see this little star thing you're gonna go on this box under the star and click and everything you know gonna be I'm gonna highlight that basically what what this does is convert into vector files and uh, now we're in vector files and they're high quality the next thing we need to do is arrange our layers from here you can see um, layer 9 is in the top and then 8 7 6 and we need to arrange these in order to get where we want so we're gonna do that let's uh, speed up the sequence So, we arrange all the layers from uh, 2 to 33. It's very important to arrange the layers so you know what's going on. So you know that you need to animate the bottom one, the 33, and uh, you know slowly just go out to number 2. And the number 2 is going to be animated lastly. So this is why it's important. So let's select all of the layers um, and press R from Rob and as you can see you it highlighted the rotation option the rotate option from here we're gonna we're gonna uh, press this little uh, uh, what is that stopwatch we're gonna press the stopwatch 
uh, everywhere it just press the stopwatch everywhere it starts to animate we're gonna drag this handle here at 12 something around here and uh, we're gonna go here from one of the, one of these and click on it and and type in 180 degrees just type in 180 and press enter and everywhere everywhere basically is just uh, typed in 180 Thus, you can drag this backwards you can see everything is rotating nicely so far every layer is rotating at the same time and what we're going to do is select these diamonds what we created the animation process um actually actually no i'm gonna show you that one at the end so you can see what does the what option i want to create there so um first thing we're gonna do is like animate so far like every everyone is animated the same way we're gonna animate everything separately so we got the 30 uh, 32 is good we got then the 31 we got this diamond and I'm gonna move this diamond, these two diamonds here. Just a pixel or, you know, but basically this is how you can move it. This is how it moves. Let's say I moved it with a pixel. We're gonna select this. See these, these are the smallest ones. So it's gonna animate the smallest ones first. Let's move this two pixels. We're gonna move this, uh, with three pixels and so on and so forth so it's gonna be tilted let's speed the process up because uh, this take up takes up time we're at the end of this uh, you know the second layer and the biggest layer so let's uh, let's just uh, try this out to see how it works you're gonna I'm gonna pull this and you can see uh, the smaller ones the smallest ones are rotating and slowly it's getting out rotating the biggest ones bigger ones than the biggest and this is how it goes <laughs> It looks so weird in the center like where the small smaller ones are I'm curious how it's gonna look uh, when it's like exported because right now it looks uh, random uh, I'm gonna hit play I think it needs to load here no it works okay um, let's do it again nice I think I like this, uh, but there was like another kind of animation to make this smoother, even smoother. But right now, this way it's pretty good, so I don't think it needs something more. But I'm gonna show you how you know that tool is done. So I'm gonna select all the diamonds, these uh, these diamonds which, which are basically going blue right now. You need to select, go all the way down and select all of them like this and right click on one of the diamonds and go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease and they just converted the diamonds into something else and let's hit play to see what see that it's a different kind of animation it's way smoother it's way more organic you know but yeah, I, li I think I like this one even more. Usually the easy ease always make things smoother and uh, you know, they look even better that way. Okay, so we're gonna export this, press Control M and we're in the render quo. Let's go to best, se uh, blah, blah. best settings. Best settings are usually best settings so you don't need to mess that up. Click OK lossless go to quicktime i'm gonna export it in quicktime um 
yeah click ok and output to we're gonna i'm gonna go to desktop and export it there save and then render and it's already rendering so basically this is how you do a animated vortex in uh, adobe after effects so try it out thank you so much for watching and uh you know if you want to see if you also want to see uh the vector process of this one then uh, go and click on the right side and check out the latest tutorials of this one so yeah thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye